Hi English speakers who want to learn French. I'm Thomas Ricomer from the blog fastfrenchlearning.ch. I just woke up, I had a shower, and the uh, weather is very sunny, so it's nice. And I'm going to tell you how to use in French the words nouveau, nouveau with an X, nouvelle with one L, nouvelle with a double L, uh, neuf and neuf, so in the singular and in the plural. It's very simple, this rule is very simple, because a lot of people say that um, French is very complicated, how can I improve my French, how can I learn French, it's a hard language, yes it is, it's a hard language, it's a hard language to learn, but some of the rules are very simple, and this one is one of them. But before, you need to know how to recognize between a masculine noun and a feminine noun. So if you don't, you can see the article, we put the, the link of this article below the video on YouTube and below the article on, on a, at the beginning of the article on, the, on my blog. So have a look at this article and after, go back to, the, to this video or to the article about the words nouveau, nouveau, neuf, neuf. Nouveau, nouvelle, neuf, neuf. Nouveau, nouvelle, neuf, neuf, or adjective. They qualify the noun they are attached to. For example, un nouveau bateau, a new boat. Nouveau is an adjective that qualifies the word bateau, boat. So first, it's very important that you have a look at the table, uh, which is in the article. It's, uh, if you understand this table, if you got it, you will understand everything of this lesson. So, um, the words nouveau, nouvelle with one L and uh, neuf or singular masculine adjectives. So, related, attached to singular uh, masculine nouns. The words nouvelle with double L and neuf or uh, plural masculine Plural masculine adjectives are related to plural masculine nouns. And nouvelle with a double L and neuf are um, singular feminine adjectives, adjectives, so related to singular feminine nouns. And the words nouvelle with double L and S and neuf with an S are plural feminine adjectives, so related to plural feminine nouns. So if you got this, that's very important. If you got this, you got everything of this lesson. The word nouveau means who has just appeared, who has just been created, different from before. And it takes place, as I just said before, before a singular masculine noun. The word nouveau takes place before a singular masculine noun. For example, notre nouveau directeur est très dynamique. Our new director is very dynamic. Notre nouveau, the word nouveau, takes place before a masculine singular noun, which is Directeur. The adjective nouveau with an X takes place before a plural masculine noun. For example, est-ce que tu as de nouveaux outils? Do you have new tools? Est-ce que tu as de nouveau? The, the adjective nouveau takes place before a plural masculine noun, which is outils, tools. The adjective nouvelle with one L takes place before a singular masculine noun that starts with a vowel or a mute H. For example, a nouvel élève, a new student, the adjective nouvelle takes place before the word élève that starts with a vowel E. The sentence un nouvel hôpital, nouvelle, takes place before the noun hospital, hôpital, that starts with a mute H. The adjective nouvelle with double L, E, takes place before a feminine singular noun. If the noun is a plural noun, we put an S at the end of the adjective, so double L, E, S. So let's see some examples. Une nouvelle moto, a new motorbike. The, word, the adjective nouvelle takes place before a feminine singular noun, which is 
moto, motorbike, une moto. J'ai installé les nouvelles étagères. I installed, I put the new shelves. The word nouvelle, les nouvelles étagères, takes place before a plural feminine noun, which is étagère. So we put an S at the end of the adjective nouvelle. The adjective neuf means um, which has uh, recently been fabricated or which has not yet been said. And it takes place after a masculine, a singular masculine noun. Um, for example, uh, c'est un bateau neuf. It's a new boat. C'est un bateau neuf. Neuf takes place after the word bateau. But as well, you can say, ce livre est neuf. This book is new. It's a new book. So, neuf takes place after the verb être. Ce livre est neuf. Livre is the noun. Est is the verb to be. The verb être. And neuf is the, the, adi the adjective. The adjective neuf takes place after a feminine singular noun. Laura portait ce soir une magnifique robe neuve. Laura wore tonight a beautiful new dress. Une magnifique robe neuve. Neuve, the adjective neuve, takes place after the noun robe, dress. When you use neuf and neuve in the plural, you put an S at the end of the adjective. So neuf, it's N-E-U-F-S. And nerve is N-E-U-V-E-S. I suggest you to train. I wrote 20 sentences, so an exercise is an exercise to train. Uh, you need to choose between these words, nouveau, nouvelle, neuf, neuf. And uh, you can see the answers at the end of the article. And if you want to follow me on my social media, you can subscribe to my Facebook page, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my YouTube channel. If you want, you can subscribe to my blog and you will receive your free ebook, 12 Tips to Learn the Language Effectively. So my blog is fastfrenchlearning.ch. Uh, tell me, let me a comment below the video, below the article, to tell me if this video, if this article helped you to improve your French, ask me questions about the French language, tell me whatever you want about the French language and I will do a new video, a next video, in which I will answer to your questions to improve your French. So I'm here for you, so ask me all the questions you want, all the questions you have about the French language. Thank you, bye!